24-year-old La Paz Favors is also charged with the murder of Gene Vice. He will go on trial later after the fate of Anthony Wiley is determined. Favors spent much of the day on the witness stand, matter-of-factly admitting his role in the crime, but he maintained all along that it was Amp Wiley who beat the women and sodomized Betty Ann Miles. Favors claims he had no part in any of that. Under questioning from District Attorney Bob Wilson, Favors said he and Wiley approached Gene Vice and Betty Ann Miles as they returned to their car after lunch in the park. At gunpoint, they robbed the women of their jewelry. Favors testified that Defendant Wiley then motioned with his gun for the women to walk back towards the woods. Favors said Wiley then struck Gene Vice from behind. She fell. He kicked her. Then Favors testified Wiley ordered the women to take off their clothes. As they did, Wiley continued to beat Gene Vice. Favors said he tied Betty Ann Miles' feet and hands with her clothing. Then Wiley walked over and forced Mrs. Miles to perform oral sex on him. As that happened, Favors says, Gene Vice tried to struggle to her feet and run. But she was badly beaten and very weak. Gene Vice stumbled to the ground after only a couple of steps. That, Favors said, is when he walked back towards the car leaving Anthony Wiley and the women behind. Favors testified that as he walked away, he heard a scream. Throughout the testimony, Gene Bice's father-in-law sat silently listening, arms folded across his chest.